How you doing there, everyone? Fantastic, brilliant, awesome, awesome, okay. Well, today I'm going to be covering some WWE All-Stars demo content. I downloaded this game off the marketplace a few days ago, and I have to say I'm really enjoying it. I've never actually played any wrestling games before, and I've never actually really played any fighting games before, apart from, um, let's get ready to rumble 2000 on the PlayStation 1. I got the hang of this game pretty quickly. I'm playing on all-star difficulty just now, which is the uh, equivalent of hard difficulty. It's the highest you can go. I played for maybe an hour and a half. I'm playing as Warrior, who's a brawler against Rey Mysterio, who's an acrobat. Uh, these are the only two characters available in the demo. Not who I'd really want to play, but I don't want to dislike any of these guys. I just want to play as the Miz, to be honest. But, um... One of the things that really drew me to this game, apart from the fact that it's WWE and WWE kicks ass with the class system, uh, I've always been a sucker for class system games ever since I played WoW for a couple of years. I've not played it in a few years now, but uh, I was really into that. Going for server first and the like. But um, I was drawn to the class system in this game because I like being unique, but you're not really unique, if that makes sense. I don't know, it'll make sense to someone, probably. Uh, but the four classes you get in this game, you've got the Brawler, which is what Warrior is. They're basically the punch people in the face, you know, kick them around, just fist hitting combo guys. Mysterio is an acrobat, which as it sounds is the, you know, acrobatic type. He has all his fancy ass spins and his, you know, jump up the top rope moves and stuff. But he's just not as generally strong. And the other two classes that aren't available to play in the demo that are available in the full game are a Grappler. Which is the class that you know that has other grapple moves, which I'm using for more than my regular punches, to be honest. And I'm going to be playing a grappler in the actual game when I get it. I have ordered it, or I'm not sure if I have it. I actually have a proper credit card I can use on the internet, so I actually have to ask my mom to order it. I thought the boy, but um, I'm not really going to get it ordered today or tomorrow. But uh, in the full game, I do plan to play as a grappler, a uh, because grapplers are you know probably going to be the most fun to play in my opinion. And B, because the Miz is a grappler, and the Miz is goddamn awesome. Uh, the last available class is the Big Man, which is, you know, people like uh, Andrew the Giant and the Big Show, who are just, like, really big and are, like, really difficult to get knocked down and have, like, their knockout punches and stuff. I'm not really sure how they're going to play, uh, I guess it just, you know, comes up to actually getting the full game. So, uh, I actually talked about the gameplay here, the combat system for the you know, the entire game system, I guess, is really intuitive in this game. You've got your light and heavy strikes on X and Y, and then your, uh, light, like, you know, your quick grab and your, uh, I guess, the stronger grab on A and B. You can see here that uh, there's a lot of countering going on when you hit RB, and that's, you know, countering is a really important uh, part of this game. The more you play versus certain characters, I assume, will be the more you get used to countering enemies. Oh, right here, I get my finishing move. Watch this, this is amazing. Here it comes, Gorilla Press. So, uh, if you will direct your attention to the player portraits there, you have multiple bars of health which go down, and eventually you get the blast and red health, which is what Mysterio is at now. A finishing move will kill you in uh, one hit, you'll be knocked out right away. Uh, you should see the bar next to the player portrait, there's a big F at the top. Uh, when you get up to there, that means you can try to execute your finishing move. If you can see the small uh, bar underneath with the stars, each one of them lets you perform a signature move, which is uh, one of the ones that goes in slow motion. You can sort of see when you go for signature moves because you have your player color coming off, and it's on yellow when you're going for um, for uh, finishing moves. So the two ways to win is you can knock them out when they're in flashing red with a finisher, or you can go for the cover. I'm pretty sure this game is almost over. Let's see if I can win this. I'm pretty sure I did win this. Oh, countered. But it looks like he countered my counter, which is really difficult to do, but it can be done. Here it goes, here's the cover. One, two, three. Yeah, victory. So this is a quick look at WWE All-Stars, and I hope to have some more content of this game out when I get the full game. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and all that.